Hello, Hofstra fans, and welcome to the WB Mason Coaches Report. I'm Nick Capados, and I'm joined once again by the head coach of Hofstra Wrestling, Dennis Papadatos. Dennis, how are you doing today? Doing good, man. Doing That's good, good to hear. Good to hear. Uh, it's It's been a pretty busy couple of days for you. Uh, two home matches against Drexel and Bloomsburg. And then on Tuesday, you travel to Fairfield, Connecticut for a, a dual match against Sacred Heart. You know, after that uh, crazy condensed action and schedule, uh, how's the, what's the mood like in the team? Um, it's been a lot, you know, like uh, we've had a lot of, you know, for, you know, the, the normal reasons, we've had a lot of those pauses and, you know, we've missed a lot, a lot of days of workout. So we're, we're, you know, you get a little banged up from that. Like now we wrestled, we had to make weight, Russell Bloomsburg, uh, Drexel, extra matches, g- get on the bus, make weight again, Russell uh, Sacred Heart, extra matches. Now we have to get ready for Binghamton, a top 25 team that we're, you know, us and, you know, preheated, turning into a rivalry over the last couple of years since I, since I was coaching at Binghamton. Uh, you know, uh, you know, a big time match and guys got to make weight again and battle. And in seven days, it's a lot. It's a lot, especially when there's pauses and you can't, you know, really uh, callous their bodies up, they're feeling it a little bit. So they're in, you know, they're in good mood. We wrestled well. We wrestled well the last two events, right? So uh, um, it's just a little like, whoa, another way in, another match. Whoa, okay, let's get through this. We're looking forward to, to finish out the grind with a good team on a high note and then really, you know, settle back, get our bodies right, get our minds right for uh, EIWAs. But it's, uh, it's been a grinder. As, as short as this season is, the mental stress of worrying about tests and worrying about pods and four practices a day and this way and that way and traveling here, going there, extra matches, who's going to wrestle, what's going on here. It's been uh, – and it's a whole season's worth in like a month. And now because we had some pauses, it's like a third of a season in a week. And it's, it's a lot. But uh, the alternative is not competing. So we, we, uh, we take it with a grain of salt. Yeah, absolutely. And like you said, the alternative is not competing. And I can't I I can't think of anyone that would take that over what three matches in was it like three days? I you know, if I were still a competitor, I would take that the option of competing over not competing any day of the week, twice on Sunday. Um in the in your post match press conference against uh Drexel Bloomsburg, you you mentioned guys like Ricky Stam, Ross McFarland, uh Joe McGinty as standouts from that weekend. Yeah. Given what uh, what happened against Sacred Heart, you know, 13 wins, uh, multiple wins by uh, by multiple wrestlers. Has anyone kind of snuck into that uh, that kind of uh, you're exceeding expectations or is it still those three guys? I mean, as I keep saying, no one's exceeding expectations. We think we're good from top to bottom. We think we have guys that are not in the starting lineup that are good. Uh, so no one's exceeding expectations. Um, I think we're just um, happy that guys are doing well. Trey Rogers is scoring points. Zach Knight and Ward is scoring points. Um, Charles beat a good kid, uh, and then an extra match scored a bunch of points. Um, Ross got banged up a little bit in, the, in that match against a, a tough kid and found a way to, you know, uh, keep winning it. Ricky scores points. Joe McGinty's been wrestling great. You know, uh, Vinny had a nice turnaround. Um, that kid beat the Drexel kid that beat him 13 nothing. Like, you know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. so, like, that Sacred Heart kid's good, you know? And like I said, that Sacred Heart kid beat a kid that dominated us, even though we knew that wasn't the result that we thought we were going to have, you know, a few days before. So it was a nice turnaround for Vinny, right? Uh, Hoyle scoring points. So no one stood out. The program stood out. The culture stood out. Um, everyone believing himself stood out. Holden Heller just keep. Holden Hell's kid was good. Found a way to stay. Holden's just doing so much a better job of staying consistent. And he's laser focused right now. Laser focused. Like, like I haven't seen before. So um, no one stood out. The Hofstra singlet stood out the last, uh, you know, few days. And, and, and I'm, I'm, I'm proud to be next to him. Yeah, I guess that's a good way to think about it. You know, when you win so many matches in such a short amount of time, um, it's it's hard to pick out someone who stands out from Hofstra. But, you know, it, it's good to see everyone performing from, you know, the veterans, like you said, Zachary Knight and Ward, Trey Rogers, Charles Small, to the newcomers. Uh, I know Greg Axiola, he yeah. didn't wrestle as well against Drexel, but he's still been performing well uh, yeah. since he's been eligible. And then, like you said, Joe McGinty, you know, four match winning streak as a freshman. That's that's got to count for something. There's no doubt. He's, uh, he's, he's shown, he's shown that 
we need to make sure we do our work to develop him because he's part of the future, right? Mm -hmm. uh, so that's, uh, you know, he wasn't, he was a, a nice recruit, you know, um, and people were on him, but, you know, you weren't sure which way to go. Man, he's making progress fast. And it's showing like, okay, he's got it. We can, you know, we got to make sure we put our time in him because he can be the Holden Heller. He can be the Sage. He can be the Ricky soon. And those guys are going to be done. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So thank God we got guys like Ross and Reese and Joe and, um, you know, some of those young guys that, that are showing, hey, not only are we good, we're going to be good for a little bit now because we got some guys that <laughs> – Joe, Joe has four years left at a red shirt. You know, McFarland still has four years left. You know, uh, Reese still has three years left in a red shirt. So we're excited. We're excited. There's no yeah, doubt. there's a lot, lot, lot to be excited about with with Hops wrestling. And then coming into this uh, this Saturday's match against Bloomsburg, you know, like you said, you're you're building a little bit of a rivalry with them in in recent years, especially considering you used to you, you used to coach with them. Yeah. You know, they're they're you know they're ranked in the top twenty five. They're bringing back. A couple of really good kids, most notably uh, their 184 EIWA champion, and another NCAA qualifier. You know, what are you looking to? What are you looking at for, from Binghamton? You know, you said you haven't been able to scout them, but from just uh, the eye test, what have you seen from Binghamton? They're vastly improved from last year, and they knew they would be. They have a bunch of newcomers that are performing at a national level, right? They're 25 pounders. The 33 pounds is a local kid. We've, I've known the 33 pounds a long time, went to community college. We just couldn't work to get him here. I love him. I love the dad. I love the kid. Uh, you know, it's a shame that he's on that side, but he, he, um, I don't fault him. He, he, we had no choice. He couldn't make it work here as well. Um, you know, their, their 49 pound is good, drastically improved. Their, their, you know, their 65 pound of the freshman is good. Um, they just, you know, everyone should wrestling really, really well. And they got a good team culture going. Um, and we, you know, us like them, we keep getting votes in the top 25. Uh, we're pretty, pretty similar, but, um, they beat army and we lost to army. So that's why they've been getting the nod. But again, we had four starters out against army. I would have liked to wrestle army again with all our team in, and I think it would have been a different result. Um, so they're good. They're good. They're, they're well coached. It's a healthy rivalry. If does that make sense? Like, uh, I talked to the coach yesterday for an hour and we joke around and, um, I actually like them. And I think they like me and I think our programs respect each other, uh, but it'll be heated, you know, in competition time, it will be heated. And I think after 30 minutes, it comes down and you're, you're, I mean, there, we respect each other. You know, we, we honestly both feel that in order for us to get where we want to get, we need the other one to keep getting better, to keep sharpening iron. Right. So mm -hmm. um, the better Binghamton gets, the better we get, and the better we get, the better Binghamton gets. So it's always going to be a, a thorn in my side. And I hope to always be a thorn in his side, you know, because me and him uh, and the programs are trying to win at a super high level, you know, to be competing with the Cornells and the Lehigh's every single year. And, you know, and, and, you know, uh, Jets has been there and army. So, and now Navy's back. So um, they're good. They're good from, they're good from top to bottom. Like we are. Uh, a lot of interesting swing matches that can go either way. And we both know that. Uh, and they got some studs. They're 41 pounder and 84 pounder are studs. That doesn't mean the other guys, are good. they're 84 pounder and the 41 pounder are studs. You know, they're 84 pounder. He can win a national title this year. Like he's 100% in the conversation. He can win a national title. So, uh, um, but it's our job to try to beat him. Yeah, and I'll tell you this, we'll be prepared and go out there. Yeah, definitely. I know you'll have the have the guys prepared, and it's nice that it's a friendly rivalry. Like it, 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 it may get heated every, like yeah. for a little bit, but you know, like you said, you and the coach are friends. You have a history with Binghamton. You know, they, they, they like you. They respect you. And it's, it's you know, friendly rivalries. I think are 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 good for the sport. It, not everything has to be like an Alabama Auburn or an Ohio State Michigan where they hate each other. Yeah, it'll get heated during the match. Trust me. Oh no, I don't doubt that. One. I think people will say things that they would. And say out, but it's kind of like in the heat of the moment, and everyone wants to win, and we're competitors. Uh, but you know, like I said, 45 minutes later, uh, unless someone does something really shady, that's a different mm -hmm. story. But he's not like that, and I don't, I'm not like that, so I don't think either of us would. Um, then it comes down to hey, let the best man win who the best man is today, you know what I mean? And, and it is what it is, and we'll go out there swing. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. You know, it should it should be a two two uh, great match. You know, two programs on the rise, in uh, conference rivals on the rise. It's you know, it's going to be exciting to exciting to watch. Yes. Uh, this so I'm this this. I'm uh, excited that it's going to be a dual meet. Hopefully, we we were talking about possibly doing Ron Robbins, but we said as long as we both have 
all 10 weights and we have our most of our guys we're going to do a duel just for the excitement to bring some adversity for the guys the guys need you know it's exciting when it matters for the dual meet right it's just more exciting than those those matchups so uh you know we both agreed barring anything crazy where one team just can't even compete and then we'll do matchups to make sure guys get matches we both want to do a duel so that's where we're moving forward it seems like it's going to be that good good i like i like that format it's you know it's straightforward to yeah. 10 guys team score and then extra matches that's a, yep. it's a great format this Saturday at 5 p.m. Uh, upstate New York, Hofstra is going to be wrestling Binghamton. You can follow all of Hofstra wrestling action on GoHofstra.com. For head coach Dennis Papadatos, I am Nick Capitos, and thank you for watching this week's WB Mason Coaches Report.